What is going on, you guys? Disney Gamer here, back with another video. Today, we will be discussing per optic settings in Apex Legends. Should you use them? What are they? And how you can set them up completely custom to your own liking without copying someone else's settings or other bullshit. So, let's get right into this. So before we actually get into how to set everything up, I'm going to explain what per optic settings are. If it isn't already common sense to you, per optic settings are simply the sensitivity depending on the optic that you put on your gun. Whether it's going to be a 1x, a 2x, a 3x, a 2x4, a 4x8 sight, a 4x10 sight, whatever. It doesn't matter. 6x sight, it does not matter. You can customize any of the optic settings you would like. So let's start off hypothetically saying that you like to rock the R99, you want to throw a 2x on that puppy, and the issue with that is your turning speed is hindered because with how the game works, it does not take the raw sensitivity as your turning speed. But the turning speed across from iron sights to any other sight is greatly reduced. I did a really shitty job explaining that. The easiest way to explain it is that the more zoomed in you are, the slower you turn. And this is especially seen on a controller. So if you want to fix this issue, then you can enable per optic settings and mess with that there. And another thing to mention is that if you are a controller player, this will help you. However, if you are a controller player that plays on an extremely low sensitivity, if you increase the per optic settings, you might have a difficult time playing the game. I'm not saying that even if you do play on a low sensitivity, this won't work for you. It might. I have no clue. I play on a relatively higher sensitivity than most people do in this game. But if you're not going to be using advanced look controls, if you are using a controller, then there's a video on screen to set that up for your own custom liking, however way you want it. You're not copying my settings. I have drills for you set out so you could set up for yourself step by step. And I explain everything from point A to point B from start to finish. Highly recommend you guys checking that out. There's a card on screen for that if you want to check it out. If you like your normal look sensitivity and your look sensitivity for ADS, that is completely fine. Pro optic settings is right here. However, if you want a more custom and a much more comfortable feel, advanced look controls is down here and I have a guide to how you can set this all up right here. And right here is per optic settings. However, if you are on mouse and keyboard, you will want to go to the mouse and keyboard section obviously. And for ADS mouse sensitivity, you want to click there and you need to enable per optic ADS sensitivity here. And if you are someone that likes a consistent sensitivity across every single optic in the game, you can mess with these settings here and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So I want you to do right now is hop onto Apex, go into firing range, ready up and let's get started. So once you're right into firing range, you want to go pick up a gun that you're going to primarily be using most of the optics on. So for example, the R99 for me, iron sights, boom, 1x sight, boom, 1x2 sight, boom, it's here. And the 2x sight is here. And this also applies for the 1x hollow. It doesn't matter as long as it's a 1x or a 2x, the changes will still apply. After that, you want to grab another gun that you can put the more ranged optics on, like a sniper rifle or maybe an AR. So you can rock a 2x4 or a 3x on that. You can rock a 6x, you rock a 4x8 and a 4x10. And you can customize any of these to your liking. Now, when it comes to per optic settings, it is a bit more advanced, but it is very simple to set up. I have it set up for myself in advanced look controls here for my 3x optic, my 4x, and the 6x because these sniper sights are what I normally use the most. I'm going to set them to default just to show you guys and I leave everything else the same. That's just for me. The reason you probably clicked on this video is if you should actually do it. What it comes down to with per optic settings is this, okay? You are a player that is pretty decent at the game, you can aim pretty well, but you notice that there are a few hiccups when it comes to turning, and that is going to be specific for certain optics. So for me, the 3x, 4x, and the 6x, they were too slow. They are sniper optics. They are crazy zoomed in, and the slow turning speed just didn't cut it for me. So just as an example here, if I lower the per optic settings for the 1x optics or iron sights, I'll just throw the 1x hog on here you can see it is crazy slow i'm really ramping on my controller here this is extremely slow for me and if this is you and if this sensitivity is comfortable for you then don't bother changing it okay 
if it is way too slow for you highly recommend ramping it up now you can go one by one but you have to select it and it, it's difficult to do that if you are on mouse and keyboard or you have a mouse connected to your computer you can just drag it point one at a time but if you are on console you kind of have to get lucky just by selecting it randomly and then you could go back and forth so you get an odd number like that because it only goes up in increments of two when you use the d-pad on any controller which can be a little frustrating so this right here, this is more my speed. So I'm not going to touch that. However, when we go into other optics like the 3X, it is pretty, it's pretty fast. Yeah, it's pretty fast, but it's kind of slow for me. So I'm going to go into advanced look controls, per optic settings, and increase that to where it was before. And I feel much more comfortable because after playing for a lot of time, I'm able to properly flick to the target I want to hit. I'm hitting the center of this target here. And as an example, on one of the mannequin targets here, I can properly flick to their head just with practice and time. And now that is set for me. However, when I go into other settings, like for the 4X or 6X optics, those are too slow for me because at specific ranges, let's say way over there, which is crazy far away, that is 100 meters. If I want to track someone, it feels extremely slow, okay? But when I increase it in per optic settings, it is more my speed like I mean that feels much smoother for me I, I really don't use a 2x4 optic a lot I use a 4x8 a lot because it is much more convenient especially for range shots so at range or even up close if I want to use this I need to be able to move my crosshairs back and forth pretty fast but I can't do that if it's way too slow and the same goes for the 6x optics if I pick this up in a game and I need to go between targets, this is pretty fast. But if someone's just at walking speed, okay, I could barely track them. And if they're running, I'm, I'm a dead man. I have to unzoom and I have to rezoom on them and hope I hit them without them killing me first. So we go into pro optic settings again, increase it to my liking, and that's that. So now it's a little faster, but I can catch up with someone running at a reasonable distance and I'm able to properly hit my targets with ease. So with this video, it's very difficult to define per person what you should do yourself. And the only way to do it and test this is through getting experience through the game itself, playing and knowing and being honest with yourself about your sensitivity. If it's too high, you gotta lower it. Who cares if you play on a higher or lower sense? It does not matter. If you play on a lower sense and you feel like that you can increase it, definitely consider increasing it. And if if you feel like everything is buttery smooth and you throw on a specific optic for a gun, like the 2X for example, and you feel like that this is way too slow for you, go ahead, hop into per optic settings and increase it. And the secret to becoming really good at something is simplicity because then you can repeat it easily with little to no error and that way you can consistently do it yourself anyways guys thank you so much for watching the video if you enjoyed the video don't forget to drop a like a comment down below with your thoughts on per optic settings let me know if it helped you out and tell me how you're doing with the whole chaotic pandemic craziness that's going around in the world today because i'd like to see and know how everyone is doing and hopefully you are all safe but of course if you're new to the channel and you want to support the channel for free the best way to do so is just by subscribing for more awesome videos just like this because i've been a gamer i'll see you all next time peace